Hey, today I added um, one of the features to the uh, traffic control system that I have going here, and that is loop detection. Uh, what is loop detection? Loop detection is when you pull up to a traffic light and you're like mainly a turn lane, the loop detectors, which are these two guys here, are embedded into the road surface and they detect the, uh, your car. The way they do it is, is they're, they're set to a specific frequency and when a car goes over there, the frequency of them changes and alerts the loop detector inside the controller box. Now right now you can see that the thing is running. We have a yellow light over here. It'll just go right to green. And that's because the loop detector has not detected any, any car. If we look at our controller, you can see this is the loop detection device here. It's an older unit. It's a Sarasota um, one. Um, and it's, it's a two-channel uh, two one, so we have one, one channel, two channels, so on. Um, and it's set how much time before it detects. I have it set for both set for one second. And then how long will it re retain that detection after the car pulls off the loop detection detectors. And I have it set for eight seconds. Our controller, you can see here, doesn't have any calls. So there's no calls for one and three as our arrows. There's no calls for that right now. So we'll take our car right here and we'll put it on the loop. We're gonna put it on this one here. And now we see our car is sitting on the loop detector. And, the, and we're waiting for the uh, green arrow which should appear here. If we look at our loop detector, it's detected the light. So the light's on. We should have a call, which is that C right there, for our number one. And you can see we got our arrow. So our car proceeds off of the uh, off of the loop detector, and another car pulls up over here, and we'll see again that the lower detector now is on. We now have a call for three, which is our other um, arrow, and we're at green now. So after the green goes to yellow, red will be all red and then we should get our arrow. And there's our arrow. So we got our arrow. The car pulls off the loop. And the next cycle, since there is no cars waiting on the uh, either one of the uh, loop detectors, We've already added ped detection to this too as well. If we do that, it adds 25 seconds to the loop, so we're not gonna bother with that. So we should go right to green, which is what we did, because we don't have it. Now if I was to pull on while it was green, it does not change that. It will not make a lagging uh, arrow. These arrows are set for leading arrows. You see, we didn't have a car sit there, so we didn't get an arrow. But we are, we do have a call now. See right there, number one. And the end means next. So the next phase is gonna be our arrow. And there it is. You see it better here. So once our arrow goes, our car drives off. So what happens if our car pulls on to the loop, it's detected, it's got a call, then our car drives off, or in many cases does. We still have our call though, because the loop detector hasn't timed out. So it actually, it's still gonna get an arrow, which it did. A lot of times, a car will pull on. It'll be detected. It'll get the call. Then it'll pull off. See that it's timing out. 
We're going to see if we can get it to. But a call has been canceled. There is no call. So the car is basically either has driven away or it's pulled off the loop detector. And I've seen that where it's actually, cars have actually pulled into the crosswalk because they're impatient and they lose that. So the next phase is green without an arrow. All right, well, looks pretty good. Loop detector going, got this. Uh, the way you manually set this up, go into the, into the menu, go to controller, go to four, and see right now there's no recall for um, one or three, which is my turns. Two and four automatically do, but if I had loop detectors on two and four, which are the green lights, then the car would have to be on them for them to get thing, to get the lights. That being it, it is, right now they're both set for active, so that recalls, it always recalls two and four, no matter what. If I was to set the ped that way, right here, ped recall, if I put that on two and four, the peds would always run every on every cycle, but they don't. They're, they have to wait for a, uh, a ped call. That's it, everything seems to be running okay, you see? Next is, is two, and it's transiting out of that. So there you go. That's it.